sister and brother surfers of the binary ocean. I'm going to show you a see hello world program and explain everything word by word, line by line. Here we go. I have a, just a blank file here, main.c. You, you can see the file extension on there if I click into it there. It's in a hello world folder. It doesn't have to be in a folder or anything. You can do it wherever you want. If you're going to be compiling from the command line with like uh, Clang or GCC or anything like that, you, you don't need, you know, you just need a main.c file. If you're in Xcode, which I am, when you do compile, all you have to do is hit the play button there and it'll run it for you. So that's kind of nice. So to do a hello world, the first thing we need is include, and then we're going to include the stdio.h library or file. And, and that's just a file basically that contains a whole bunch of C code in it already that already does a lot of the work for us. Like it does the work of creating this function that's gonna allow us to write text to the terminal, this printf function. That's all coded already in the standard input output file, which is nice because that's not an easy thing to do. That's a lot of code behind that. And it just makes it nice and easy for us. So we're including that. And then the first thing every C program needs is a the main function. This the computer is going to run this function before it runs anything else in the, in the C program. That's that's where it goes. It goes. It says, okay, main function. That's my starting point. Here we go. And then with the main function, you can see we get a little warning here. Type specifier missing defaults to int. So if we don't specify a type, a return type, uh, then it's it's given you know int by default. But we can put that there just to get rid of the warning message. Now. Let me explain that int. So there are four different main types of data in C. There are ints, doubles, floats, and char. And integers, that's a four byte little chunk of data, four bytes, that's a whole number. And that could be, there are, you know, signed and unsigned integers. So it could be like negative four, it could be five, but it cannot be four, 0.7 or you know it can't have a decimal in it decimals belong in the float type so a float is any number that's got a decimal point in it now a double instead of being four bytes it's double that it's eight bytes so you can put a bigger number in there and a character is a letter or a number that's recognized as a letter okay so those are the four different data types. When we have a function, a function is basically a box, okay? It's, think of a function like a, like a tool. You have some data, and then you have this box that is your function, and you put the data, you send it into your box, and then magic happens inside there. You don't know what goes on. Well, we, we will know because we're creating the function, right? But the function like printf is a function we will use in this program. We have no idea what that does or how it works behind the scenes. We just know that ultimately in the end, if we put this text into it, it's going to spit that text. It's going to process it and spit it out into the terminal or command line for us. And so that's what a function does. It, it does the magic, processes it, and then it spits out something else, whatever, some more data, some other data. It, it changes the data or manipulates it or does something with it and then spits something out. And it doesn't always have to spit something out and it doesn't always have to take something in. It could, um, you know, just do, there are all kinds of things a function can do. So anyway, this is our main function. And when we put this int in front of it, that means it's going to be spitting out the integer data type. If anything we put in these parentheses here in the main, we could put int there and we could put like, uh, we could put a comma and, you know, put some other data types in there. That's what gets passed into it. Just like with our print F function, we are passing in hello world. And then that, that, so that gets passed in and the function does its magic and then it spits out an integer, right? With our main function, we're not gonna pass anything in. We don't need to. So um, 
we're, we're going to use something from the standard input library, input output library, and it's going to be that printf function that I just showed you there. So we'll do that printf, and we'll just do hello. I keep putting a w after my hello, Wisconsin, and we'll put a semicolon, and then we will do one more statement here. It'll be return zero. So that's going to, that's that integer that it's, that our function spits out. Remember it spits out the integer data type. That return zero, it's gonna spit out a zero if it gets to that point. If this printf function has an error, then it's never gonna get to this return statement. It's never gonna return a zero. And then the, the computer's gonna know that they're, you know, that something went wrong or it's just gonna keep trying to run this program until it gets that zero and it's just never gonna get it. So it's gonna be, a, it's kind of a signal that, hey, we finished up, everything finished up all right. Now, if we hit the play button or run your compiler and compile it and then run the program, we get our output. You can see hello Wisconsin, program ended with exit code zero. Um, let's, we can put a new line character in there that's just a special character or a sim that's a that's a code for a special character which is just a character return so like each of these actually behind the scenes which we can't see has one of those new line characters in there so when we get that that's going to knock this program ended with exit code to the next line so that it's not all jumbled on that same line let's change this exit code to 5 see what happens to ah program ended with exit code five, see? So it, it actually ends it with whatever value it returns is an integer. Now, if we change this to a character, like C, we're gonna run into some problems because, see, incompatible pointer to integer conversion. So it's trying to give us a pointer to wherever we're holding this C in the computer's memory and, and return that, but that's not an integer. So and it needs an integer to return, otherwise we have problems. So we'll leave that back at zero, run the program one more time, get hello Wisconsin, program ended with exit code zero, and we're all good. That is hello world in C.